Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are going to do a full moon reading. So, which is, I believe, tomorrow night. So, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about full moon. The other thing, too, is don't forget to manifest your dreams, hopes, your all the things that you're wanting for your life, okay? Maybe take the time to think about it, too, because... <clears throat> I thought I knew what I wanted to and it's like when it comes down to what you're asking for I mean go and get some details to what you're looking for okay because the more details you have the better your um, fruition will come in that will uh, have all those have all those things that you're looking for you know all the little details like being faithful <laughs> and um, having a true love and having where you meet the person and as if you've already met them you know so yeah anyways I should give a course or a, do up a video for manifesting because I really have um, a really great way of manifesting and um, that works for me. So, and let's see, what do I want to do for this? Let's, let's see. Okay, spirit. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever you're manifesting, it might have something to do with marriage. <laughs> So marriage and the number three is here. So it could be, maybe you planted these seeds already a while back. I got two here, community. Hmm. So maybe some recognition of this marriage by the community. It looks like you're going somewhere on a journey. A journey of a lifetime maybe, huh? Number 10. And 12, which is 3, so 3, 3, 10. So, let's see. What else, Spirit? Well, that looks promising. So somebody is going to get married. Everybody's going to know about it. Hmm, some truth. That's always good. <laughs> truth is very important. So it's possible somebody wants to come in to tell you some truth. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really liking this reading already. I mean, lately it's been this negative energy that keeps coming back. Somebody's not doing the work, so we keep having to give these messages with this terrible energy. And today I'm not feeling that at all. So today I'm really actually feeling pretty upbeat and good, and it's prosperity begins. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> so marriage, truth, community, prosperity begins, and a journey. So, wow, I'm really liking this. Um, you're going to know if this is your reading. If this hasn't happened yet, it's coming. And if it has, then, um, wow, <laughs> good for you. I'm so happy for you. That is awesome. You know, Let's see, wisdom. Oh yeah, that's so important to have that wisdom because you take that with you, right? All your life lessons you learn. And in these life lessons, you know, it's about growth, right? It's about growing up, right? It's about moving through these stages and it's when people don't, they refuse. <laughs> in some cases, they absolutely refuse to grow up and move on and get to the next level, unfortunately, because it only holds them back, right? For many years in some cases, you know. So some of these energies I feel are older and maybe they were players, you know, maybe that was their thing. But as they're getting older, I think they're realizing that it's important to get that growth and maybe somebody has turned somebody's head that used to be a player because I'm feeling like I don't feel that player vibe 
I feel more like that has ended before I picked it up, but not so much now. And yeah, let's see. Oh, <laughs> pay attention to the red flag. So marriage is here. So this could be somebody coming back around. Romantic feelings. Yeah, deception. So could be somebody want maybe asked you to marry them in the past, like in the recent past, not like years ago, I'm talking like months ago or in the last year, okay? Now, somebody wants to give truth. They may have already asked you to marry them. And I was really hoping that this wasn't gonna be like this because when I first started the reading, everything was coming up nice and great. And now, bleh. Hmm. This could be a test. It looks like your prosperity is going to begin, whether you're with this person or not. With the deception here, I'm gonna say if they ask you to marry them, mm -mm, don't do it. Somebody's not being real with you. And the truth they're trying to tell you, no. They just want you to get into your romantic feelings. See, they want to do the touchy, lovey, lovey, honey, honey, honey. Mm -hmm. So don't do it. That's all I got to say is you're going to see these. I think, you know what? I'm feeling right now very strongly that this, these red flags, you are not going to be able to not notice them. Okay. Like you're going to really be able to see everything you need to see for this. Deception, okay? So watch for that. Yeah, somebody is wearing a false mask. Oh God. You know what, prosperity begins, and do you know what this tells me? It tells me, and it's, the prosperity begins as one, the number one, okay? It tells me you're going solo with this prosperity. It's gonna be just you. You don't need this other person for that, okay? Forgiving and learning, okay? So whatever you've learned for, from this deception, because I think this was something that happened in the last year, because I've been feeling that for hmm, months. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of the other tarot readers are feeling the same thing, so. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, which is really important because right now, if you are calling in someone, I don't believe this is your person. Spirit's telling you that this, there's deception here and I think this person's coming back. <clears throat> Now, a lot of signs are getting these same readings and it is just the time for, um, with the planets moving the way they are through astrology and through, um, it's, it's the year for love, new beginnings, new love, uh, out with the old, in with the new kind of thing. Like it's a whole, um, it's like cleaning the slate, clean, like it's, for those who um, are experiencing that, then this message is definitely for you, okay? If you've dealt with deception in the past, just in the recent past, and you've, you weren't paying attention to your intuition or ignoring your intuition and this energy just kept coming back, you weren't doing the work, okay? Now the work's been done. You've already got your prosperity begins. You've done, something's changed here. They're coming back to tell you the truth about something, okay? You're gonna see the red flags. You're gonna, you're going to take it in a forgiving and learning and it's going to be a very mature uh, way of dealing with it because remember, I think this is the same kind of energy I had one other time where they want you to lose your cool okay they want to push you and uh, steer the conversation to 
a way of pushing your buttons to see if you're gonna lose your cool and that's what they're looking for because they're telling everybody you're crazy with the community here okay they're telling they're talking shit about you I'm sorry to say that I hate to say messages like this but I am here to give you the messages I get from spirit so um, if you're sensitive or if you don't want to hear me swearing because I do swear or curse or however you want to say it um, then this might not be your channel because I'm going to tell you the message uh, that I'm getting for you and it may not be what you want to hear okay you might not want to hear it but the message is there for a reason because you need to do the work for it or you're, there's something you're missing or something you're not seeing okay that or you're not hearing it through your intuition or you're not picking it up or you're not paying attention to it or you're just ignoring it okay so when all our tar all these tarot readers come up to give you a message um they're doing it out of the kindness of their heart they're being led to do so by spirit for me in my story i was never religious i never had a religion my parents didn't agree on religion they both had different religions so they left it for me to find my own religion now all these years have gone by i've never been religious ever and now i'm awake <laughs> and i'm being guided to bring messages spiritually from god <laughs> which just blows my mind because i was never part of that scene okay and now um i love this scene and this is my calling i've found what i'm meant to do and sometimes the energies that come through me might change the tone of my voice or I might be upset that I'm feeling this and it's not like even when I re we watched the, the the video that I watched and somebody had commented that I was being smug <laughs> I'm not being smug I'm picking on that energy and that energy was like that okay and it, it comes through me and I can do my best to try to control it but I'm new to this, okay? So if I did uh, come out as being smug, that was not my intention. I'm here to give you the messages and it stops there. The rest is up to you, okay? So don't judge me just because of the energy I'm picking up and because I am the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? So anybody that wants to comment on my page like that, please don't do that because that's not what my page is for that's not what my channel is about it's about everybody being able to come together and be real speak their truth and not be afraid to that somebody's going to judge them okay it's about being able to speak their truth and feel good about it it's about love it's about being there for one, one another if you're gonna comment negative on my page I'll block you I got no problem with that okay because that's not what my channel's about, okay? And that is for a specific person that did, and I spoke exactly like that. Please do me a favor and pick another channel because I don't want your negativity in my channel around my people that are here to receive messages that are positive, hopefully, and it's gonna be what you need to hear, not necessarily what you wanna hear, okay? I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass, okay? I'm gonna tell you how it is. <laughs> and I'm, I'm doing it as lovingly as I can, okay? So, and I'm doing this from the goodness of my heart. I'm not getting any money for this. I am coming out here truly just to give you the messages you need, okay? So, let's keep going. Anyhow, love yourself first. See, you need the self-respect for yourself, okay? And that is all about your self-worth. You have to have self-respect for yourself for other, anyone else to be able to respect you. And when you don't respect yourself, people pick up on that. And now you're a target. Um, don't tell people you're spiritual if you can help it because people will prey on that as well. They will take your kindness for weakness. And it's funny because that's a whole different thing. You know, you're being kind to somebody doesn't mean you're weak if you're kind. 
That's what love is about. Love your, thy neighbor. Love, you know, what's wrong with everybody? Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't. I don't get it. I don't. Be good to others. Like, karma is real. <laughs> Treat people with respect. Like, you want to be treated. Do you want other people to do shit like what you're putting out there to to you back like treat people how you yourself want to be treated and if you want to be treated bad well that's uh that's a whole different story and that then you need some maybe guidance from a counselor or you know someone to talk to so anyhow let's get some tarot going yay and it's so funny because when i was younger I, I wanted to be a dentist <laughs> and um, as I got older I really got into palm reading I liked palm reading and I, I really liked uh, connecting uh, probably because I had <laughs> I had things happen to me when I was young I was six okay <laughs> and I was seeing orbs racing around my ceiling okay in different colors and after that scared me, uh, I didn't really see too much until I got into my 20s, and then I started really seeing orbs, um, but not just any orbs, okay? I was seeing orbs with people in them, and they were trying to communicate with me, okay? Like, you could read their face, like, who are you? Are you my family? Hi, do I know you? You know, like, it was... Um, it was amazing, <laughs> but it scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> I gotta be real with you, because it did. I woke up my family, and we booked it out of that place right away, because I was so distraught after. I did not, I, I was in denial. I didn't want to believe what I saw. Um, yeah, and it, my daughter saw it too, She, but she was so little, she, she didn't remember any of it but yeah it was amazing and uh and it wasn't until you know recently that I'm realizing that I'm clairaudient and I'm uh clairvoyant and I also am a prophet I can tell you what is going to happen beforehand and then it happens okay so I know I have gifts and that is why I've been led here is because I know there is more out there than what people realize okay anyways we have justice <laughs> how fitting is that with this deception and your prosperity is beginning I'm so excited for you that's so awesome and you've taken the wisdom that you've learned and even if they tell you a truth uh, and it's probably going to be a lot more than you realize that went on behind your back, okay? Whether they tell you that shit or not, they might just do it just to, to hurt you, too. They might just tell you the truth to hurt you. But do not take this person back, please. Do not. You're being guided away from this person. Um, it's justice. It is karma they are going to be facing. And if you deal with them, you deal with their karma as well. So, And you take on that karma. So really, be real with yourself. Be real with the situation. Okay? See it for what it is. Um, be kind. Okay? Be loving. But you have boundaries. And if you don't want to be a friend of this person, then don't. You know you. If you want this person in your life or not. If you are much happier without them, then don't let them back. Okay? Because it looks like they're going through it with the nine of swords. There's regret. Okay? But let's find out if they did the work. Because it looks like whether there was deception in the past, I don't feel that though. I feel like there's still deception here, like somebody hasn't done the work. But let's see. I could be wrong. Where's the star? 
Yeah, they regret what they did to you. You're the star. They know it. Hangman. They're delaying. Let's see. Why are they delaying? Please, Spirit, what's the delay? Yeah, they're healing. They might have done the work. They're doing the night, dark night of the soul. There might be hope after all. Maybe they're... I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> of course, no. You're guided to walk. Okay. I was hoping that maybe that this person, if it was the love of your life or you felt really connected to this person, I was hoping that they'd done the work <laughs> for your sake. I mean, you know, especially if you love this. Yeah. <laughs> There's love there with the lover's card. Yeah. You make a decision. Poverty judgment Ugh. okay so we have the lovers we have the five of pentacles and we have judgment call and a choice okay so choose right choose right for you you know your story whether this is your story or not you know whether it is okay so you're gonna be faced with the choice this seems to be the same storyline I have been picking up on for a bit now. So I'm sure with the other tarot readers as well. But let's clarify anyway. See if anything's changed. Yeah, there's no love here because when I picked that up, it was in the reverse. So they're just giving you a line of shit. Yeah, they're holding on to you to hold you back. And that's what the delaying is with the hangman. They know you did the work. They could be healing, but they're coming back without without healing properly. They're just waiting. I don't feel like they've done, done any work. They do regret it. But there's still deception here. Yeah, there's... Ten of Swords, Betrayal. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> warning, warning, alarm, <laughs> alarm. You know, so, um, <laughs> yeah. You know what to do, right? Yeah, without love, that's not cool. So, Let's do this one. Well, just let me shuffle a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there's no cooperation here because I'm having trouble with my cards and I don't usually have this much trouble. <laughs> and yeah, see how this is working out for me? Like, there's no cooperation here. No love, no cooperate. Oh, Tower was the next card. I missed it. <laughs> Damn, so, yeah, no, 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 okay, there was a reason I looked back in that pile, and that was why, that tower was sitting right behind that no love, okay, knight of swords, yeah, truth, there's justice, yeah, there's gonna be a truth here, Nine of Wands is, um, still going forward, uh, regardless of the regret. What's the star? Still coming forward, why? Yeah, you're running away. You, you ran away from this person before. What's this? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. You're just working. You're, you know, <laughs> you know what upsets me about all of this is that you knew, and you ran, and they're are being relentless, coming back after you, not doing the work, regretting it, sure, but they're not, they haven't done anything about it, okay? And you're just working. They're trying to hold that back. Look at, that's on the hangman. Okay, they don't want, they want to delay you. 
Yeah, this is completed. This is something that needs to come to a full end ending. I don't understand. Like, if you've already snip snipped and, and cut their energy, called back your energy, returned to sender on any ill will or any ill intent towards you, I mean, if you're doing all those things and this person just... Oh, I see. Nine of Swords is here again. They have serious regret. Oh, they're still holding on to you. They're still not letting this go. It's not you. It's them. And they're... They don't like the fact that you walked. What's the Six of Wands? Please, Spirit. Six of Wands. Please and thank you. Six of Wands. Uh, five of Swords. Yeah, they're jealous of you. They're jealous that you were able to walk away. And you had strength to do it. That you had enough self-respect for yourself. Good for you. What's the lovers? Mine's out here. If there's no love in the cup, why is the lovers here? Mm. They just want to marry you to trap you. Uh, and then work you over. They want to control you. I, and that is what I'm feeling. Oh, come on. Our fence was on the floor. They want to marry you to trap you. They're, they're saying all this bullshit about love and want to marry you, but they're just going through financial difficulties. So they're there for the wrong reasons. It's not about love. It's not about cherishing you or wanting to be with you or anything other than they want your money because your prosperity begins if it hasn't yet it's not going to be long before it does you don't need them you don't need them okay yep ace of pentacles over the five of pentacles that is the reason they're there. They want a new start because of your pentacles. This is where judgment comes in with your choice, the decision on what you're going to do. This needs to come to closure. And if they did do the work, then spirit will let you choose. But from what I'm seeing here, yeah, you've got a lot of options. A lot of options, and this person knows it, and that's why they're coming back. Yet, they haven't done the work to do anything about it. That's what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the fool in reverse. They're not going to move forward with you like you want them to, okay? They're not going to take that risk. They're, <laughs> they're not going to do it. They're not going to commit. Okay? That's what I'm feeling with that. Another ah, kind of reading, like... Well, the thing is, is that you get what you need out of these readings to say, Hey, look, this is still here. Something hasn't changed yet. Now, this person feels that if they wait long enough, that maybe you'll take them back. I don't know. I don't see any communication here, though. I don't feel you're talking to this person. What's behind that? Yeah, they're strategizing. They are in the King of Wands reverse, Two of Cups reverse, Four of Swords is upright, so they're still hanging on to you, greedy. They have the Queen of Wands, so they still haven't let go of the person that they were supposed to let go of. They have no strength to do it, and they're being a hermit. They're hiding. There is no love between them. 
and if it's the King of Cups in reverse, they're squabbling. And there is no victory for them. Six of Wands in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. No celebrations. No Nine of Cups. They're not happy. They want to be happy. And they want to work with you. They've lost their gifts. If they were gifted before, they have lost their gift. That could be a spiritual... Um, they could be um, being uh, in trouble spiritually. Where spirit has decided to take their gifts from them if they had them. Yeah, it's a judgment call. Oh, the tower in reverse too. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You know what you need to do. This reading was for somebody. Just remember in the full moon tomorrow night. Uh, Saturday. I think it's the 16th. Um, don't forget to manifest what you truly desire. Um, in a way like. How can I put it? Uh, a way of manifesting that might work. Um. I don't want to give away all my secrets because I might do a course on it. I don't know yet. So, but manifesting, um, there's a way of doing it. Uh, I think there was one that I saw. Um, I do service in a wonderful way. I do service for wonderful pay. Uh, something along those lines. Anyways, there's, there's that route or there's, um, I have more money in my bank account a uh, hundred times more than I thought I would uh, which makes me happy I can't wait to see what I do with the money I'm gonna give back um, to the people that helped me along the way I'm going to give to a charity or um, you know giving back really does help it flow through because you're you're giving it back and it's yeah anyways enough of that for now <laughs> I could do a whole nother video on it so um, but take care uh, please like and, sh and share um, we do do come out here to give you these messages out of the kindness of our heart we are being led to do so we want to give you these messages even if it helps just one person you know just one person I'm happy with that as long as you know you're doing what you're you're listening to yourself and your intuition and you have your self-worth your self-respect and you know who you are you know and that's that's essentially what we're all here to do right so anyhow enough of that <laughs> I hope everybody liked their video and please share, like, and subscribe, like I said, and we will see you next time. Okay, later. <laughs>